In this video, I'm going to give you a quick example of how I would use horsepower uh, when taking advantage of bookie promotions on horse racing. So we've got these second, third refund promos. Uh, you can see there's quite a lot available on this race that's coming up. Uh, I'm just going to stick with Bet Deluxe for this example. And if I come over to horsepower, you can see that I've got Bet Deluxe selected in my bookie drop down. And if I click on the race, it's going to open up Betfair and Bet Deluxe for me. You can see I've got a few minutes left until this race starts. It is Royal Ascot in the UK. Normally, we wouldn't recommend betting on UK races, but Royal Ascot is one of the exceptions because it's just uh, such a big event and there's so much money uh, getting wagered on it. So, uh, having a quick look at the race, we can see that there's sort of two horses that are clear favourites ahead of the rest. Uh, this Frankie the Tory horse has obviously came in a little bit as well, um, but really these are the two that are most interesting uh, in terms of expected value. If we come over to Bet Deluxe, you can see that I've got the, the data injection option selected. Um, I'll just show you how you get that. In settings, you can see I've chosen to inject the data, and because that's on, we get this information, the, the horsepower information directly on the bookie page. Uh, and because it's a cash bet that I'm I'm going to be placing, it's the SR information that I'm interested in. If I had a bonus bet, I would be using the SNR side. Uh, at the moment, we can see that most of these horses are in red, which means the, the EV isn't great. We've got one in yellow here, jumping between yellow and orange, so it's not great, but it's got the potential to be better. In fact, these two are the the clear favourites in the race and you can see there that's jumped up to 764 which is uh, very tempting and actually I'm probably going to just jump right on that. Um, in fact I won't. That is good and normally I would jump on it but for the purposes of this video I'm just going to take another moment or two because we do have well a minute and a half until the official start time which means I've probably got about two minutes until the horses actually get going. So to explain kind of my thought process, obviously we're interested in getting as high an expected value as possible. And if you're weighing your bets, then there's absolutely nothing wrong with jumping on early EV. So that's 764 or whatever it was, that would be great. And as I said, I would normally just jump right on that. Um, but if you wait until closer to the race, often these odds start to move around a little bit more and things get better. You can see, okay, we're up to $8 here. So I am just going to jump on that. How I usually do it, I would get the bet ready to go in the bet slip here. Over at Betfair, I'm going to get that one set up. I've got my default way stake in here. Um, I recommend using a default way stake rather than messing around with the stakes here. It's just quicker. Uh, it, I use the $43 way stake. That's usually an underlay of a couple of dollars, which is fantastic because it means that if the horse wins, I'm going to at least break even or maybe make a small profit. Um, and I like that. Obviously, some people prefer to keep the, the qualifying loss to minimum, in which case they would lay a little bit more and other people are happy to, to underlay further or completely no lay. Uh, but I find 43 is a, generally a good number. Uh, this these odds have probably changed now. Yeah, I've, I've missed that one while I've been talking, but that's fine. You can see that this other one has jumped to to six dollars of EV, so we've got options here. Um, I'm just going to do the same thing again. I'm going to I'll try and be a bit faster this time. I'm going to get my bookie bet slip ready to go. I'm going to get my betfair bet slip ready to go, and once I'm happy that. Um, both of them are looking good, so that looks like it's going to drop. Yeah, I'm just going to hit place bet, confirm. I'm going to wait for this to confirm before I do anything else, but I'm confirmed. So I can just do this. And the beauty of the $43 stake is that, obviously this has dropped to 315, which is better for me. If it had gone the other way, I would have stuck with 43. No need to make any edits or anything because I would have been underlaying anyway. So it would just have been a slightly different underlay rather than having to play around with the stakes. So we still um, got a few moments until the race starts. I do have another screen where I'm watching the horses get loaded into the, the barriers. 
Uh, so while we're waiting on that, we can have a look at what the position is. If uh, this favorite here doesn't win, I'm going to get $40.85 back, which is a $9.15 qualifying loss. If it does win, I'm going to lose $92.45 at Betfair, but over here you can see that the the payout was going to be, I don't think it actually says on this anymore, but it's $50 at odds of three, so it's $100, uh, which means I'm going to make $7.55 if the horse wins. Obviously, the better situation is if it doesn't win but finishes second or third. In that case, I'm going to have the $9.15 qualifying loss and I'm going to get a $50 bonus bet over at Bet Deluxe, which I can convert into round about $40, so it'll be about $30 profit. Um, it's a 1,200 metre race, so it looks as though this Meditate has, has pulled out in front. Um, I'm keeping an eye on the the pictures here to see what happens. Uh, it, judging by the odds, I think this is going to work out pretty well. It looks like I might have got a place. Um, there's a bit of a delay in the, the stream that I'm watching, so I don't know if that's the case, but it doesn't really matter. I got the EV. Um, my EV on that bet was around about $8 or something like that. And if I place enough of those bets over the long term, I'm going to be almost guaranteed to make money. Okay, I've just watched the, the slow motion replay of the race on my screen and Modge, or however you pronounce that, has came second, which is fantastic because I'm going to get that bonus bet over at Bet Deluxe. So that was a successful um, one there. As I said, the, the, the most important thing is that you keep taking the expected value. What the horses do, we don't have any control over, but we just try and take the EV when we can. Um, and horsepower should help you do that. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the process that I, I take. And if you get any questions, you can always ask on Discord or, or give us an email. Thanks, guys.